occupy yourself with God's word. Beloved, this coming days, may blessings be upon you. May blessings upon blessings fall upon you and your family that you might be a mega blessing to the people around you. Everywhere you go, may the grace of God be upon you. Grace upon grace upon grace. Favor upon favor that you may have an abundance to do every good work as you flow in God's spirit. May the Heavenly Father, may our Heavenly Father strengthen every one of us with all might according to his glorious power to all endurance and patience with joyfulness for this coming days in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Beloved, may the word of God May his word never depart from your mouth. As in Joshua chapter 1 verse 8, The book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. While you may be facing challenges or obstacles, the key to overcoming them and seeing God's power flow into your situation is not to focus on your troubles, but to focus on God's word. Joshua 1.8 tells us that spending time in God's word is the key to flourishing in every area of your life, whether it's in your relationships, career, and holistic well-being. Here are three practical ways to spend time in God's word this coming days and start experiencing good success. Occupy your time with God's word. What you are doing with most of your time, instead of being occupied with bad news or entertainment, prioritize spending time reading God's word. Decide to receive, decide to receive revelations of Jesus. When you see Jesus in the Word, you learn about who He is. Jesus' characteristics, the power of His finished work, and your inheritance in Him. These revelations of Jesus are what will set you on the path to success. Read God's Word through the lens of grace. When you read God's Word, be assured that verses on God's judgment and punishment no longer apply to you as a believer because Jesus bore all that judgment on the cross instead. Focus on scriptures that show you new covenant truths. Example, how God is strengthening you with all might according to his glorious power. For all patience and long suffering with joy. Reference Colossians chapter 1, verse 11. Beloved, this coming days, allow the word of the this coming days, allow the word to nourish you and bring practical results in your life. Amen. Stay tuned and share this video. Amen.